Hey hi hello welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another Slayful video. Today I, I will be sharing my first impressions versus my current thoughts on pop groups. Specifically the ones I stan. I hope you enjoy this video. On to the first group. With Ipsy I've always felt that click with them. There are some K-pop groups I just don't feel connected to. Sure I'll stream the music but I don't attempt to actually stand them. With Ipsy it's always been I love the girls and I love the music. I got into them during Not Shy Era, and I absolutely loved the song back then. But now you know it's actually my least favorite title track of theirs and I still think it's their worst era but back then I was just in love. My bias was Yeeji I just loved everything about her and still do. Currently my bias is Yuna. During in the morning era my bias just shifted. I honestly don't know what happened but she just ate up that era and became my new bias. I still love Yeeji and the other girls though. My current favorite song of theirs is Chillin Chillin. It was so hard to pick because they have so many bops such as Nobody Like You, Surf, Swipe, Loco and even in the morning. But Chillin Chillin just has my heart. Itzy are currently my favorite K-pop group and I just love everything about them. NCT is probably the group that has had the most change on my opinion of them. Before I started standing them I thought of them as just the group with many members. It's sad to say but I didn't think of them as anything more than that. However I do remember liking Make A Wish when it came out but after a while leading into 2021 I just started to make fun of it especially the lyrics. And especially the English version. I have videos on my channel when I spoke about NCT in ways I'm definitely not proud of. And I honestly wish I could take it back but what's done is done and it isn't really going to change anything. I remember when I first heard Make A Wish Jamin stood out to me the most. Something about his aura and the way he was presented intrigued me. It wasn't really until Hot Sauce era that I started opening my eyes to NCT and vibing to their music. Cause when I tell you they have some bops. Deja Vu by Dream is my current favorite song by NCT it's so catchy. Currently I'm more of a dream zen but I still appreciate and stream wavy and 127's music on the daily. Currently my bias is Hei Chan. I can't even put into words how much I admire this man. He's truly an inspiration. Ace member of NCT. I've said it multiple times and I'll say it again. My bias wrecker is Jamin but I still appreciate him and he's always gonna have a blueprint in my heart as the first NCT member that I clicked with. But Hei Chan. <laughs> Blackpink was the first ever K-pop girl group I heard of so automatically my first impression of them was that they were the best and basically only girl group to exist. Getting into Blackpink the first song I recall listening to was D4 and then soon later Kill This Love was released. And if I tell you that I was obsessed, I don't really remember how Rosé became my bias. She just did and in their music videos she really stood out and I thought and still think that she is very pretty. As of now my opinion on Blackpink hasn't changed much but nowadays I've come to realize how badly managed they are. Blackpink is a group packed with talent and they get screwed over with only one comeback a year and the same sound for each and every one. These days it feels like Blackpink are just Instagram influencers. But honestly their Instagrams are more active than their Spotify account. I just wish we would hear more from them as OT4. However I know Jesus' drama is coming up so I will definitely be watching that and supporting her. Also currently my bias is still Rosé. I have never thought of changing my Blackpink bias and I don't feel the need to so Rosie stays as my bias and probably will be until the end. My current favorite Blackpink song is really in the leaked song Ready For Love on YouTube. But honestly though why can't they just release it? It sounds like a bop but whatever. I'm hoping for a Blackpink comeback soon. I say that literally every time I talk about them but it's just a requirement at this point. I've always thought of Enhypen as a very unique group. Compared to other 4th gen groups specifically boy groups they always had this different vibe to them. So it always made them stand out to me. I remember watching their debut and being in awe with them. And their visuals were so overflowing I just couldn't not notice them. Sunu and Sung Hoon stood out to me at the time because of their visuals and charisma so then eventually Sung Hoon became my bias. Because I was so intrigued with them I decided to watch Island and through the show I completely fell in love with Sunu. 
I remember seeing the show when it first started airing but I never bothered to give it a watch and I'm kinda glad because knowing who debuted and who didn't took away all the anxiety. Currently my bias is still Sunu. I mean how can you not like him? I even made a video for him that I posted on his birthday called The Reasons Why I Adore Kim Sunu so check it out. Their discography is absolutely flawless and they don't have a bad song but my favorite song of theirs is probably not for sale. I just love the fresh vibe it has to it. In conclusion Stan and Hype and Stan Talent. Twice. Don't we all love them? Twice are one of the few groups that have an overall amazing discography. Because honestly what is K-pop without Twice? Y'all why are we letting them flop on the charts? Scientists deserved better. My first impression of Twice is a bit vague but I can just remember being in love with all of their songs. I would dance to songs like Yes or Yes and dance the night away until I started to sweat. I loved them so much. TT was the first ever Twice song I heard but I wasn't really fully engrossed into them until more and more era. My bias was Nayeon and when I tell you I was obsessed with her. When I first started this channel she was my profile picture and all. I was obsessed and honestly still am. What's not to love about Nayeon? So she stays one of my alt biases. Twice have so many songs so it's almost impossible to pick my favorite one. Narrowing it down to title tracks I would have to say What Is Love is my current favorite title track of theirs. It's just so good. And I also really like the feels. Bright and Bubbly Twice is my favorite concept on them. I'm more into expressive and cute concepts so that's probably why songs like More and More and Cry For Me were forgettable to me. In conclusion Stan Twice Stan Good Music and Talented Girls. I thought ending the video with the group that started it all made sense so hello BTS. BTS was the first ever K-pop boy group I heard of so again I automatically thought they were the best. I remember that most of my 2019 was spent watching BTS crack videos. Boy With Love was the first song I heard of from BTS and back then I absolutely loved it. V was my bias. Something about him always hit different. When I saw him in the center of Boy With Love I was like he is the one. Jin also stood out to me at first but V just took over. And as he should he still stays as my bias. I don't feel the need to change and I honestly don't know who I would change to. But BTS have so many songs it's hard to really say that's my favorite. But these days I've been really interested in Disease from the B album. It's just so well produced. There is not one boring part of the song. It's truly lovely. BTS deserve all the success they have earned I mean what else can I say? They are kings indeed. Well then those were my first impressions versus my current opinions on K-pop groups. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm sorry it's up quite late. Anyways thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe goodbye.